Please welcome Meredith O'Sullivan Wasson, Amanda Silverman, Sarah Levinson Rothman, Christine Sue, and Angie Martinez. I'm sorry in advance about that. We can't follow her act, though. Yeah, That's we're not impossible. following Jess. That's totally impossible, but you guys are pretty good, too. She if is. only we had so much courage. I know. Yeah. So let me just say, these women come from publicity. They represent everybody on the planet. Well, not everybody on the planet, not but the important people. I have a list, actually, of the people you represent. Okay. Everybody from Pharrell to uh, Will Smith to... Tell me some other big names. Tell me the big names. Charlize we're Theron, the Theron, Theron, see, she's correcting me. Um, and, and companies, too, right? Yeah. Foot Locker and... So this makes you nervous, yes? Yeah. Um. Wanna... <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... But we're... look at the love in the room. This is a, this is a friendly environment. <laughs> no, I think we're conditioned to be behind-the-scenes people and people sworn to secrecy, so this is a little bit different. But since we all started a company about nine months ago, this is something we need to do. So we're excited to be here. So you're pushing yourself past We are pushing zone. past yeah, our sure. fear, but I am going to write a strongly worded letter to Dylan for making us follow that. <laughs> Other than that, I have <laughs> great confidence <laughs> in what you're going to yeah. share today that it's going to be yeah. really great to hear. So well, I, thank you for doing this, Angie. And, we, and if all else fails, we'll level, do a level up dance at the end, and it will be amazing. No, I think our gift is that we brought Angie Martin. Oh, yeah, exactly. exactly. I, know, um, I know Amanda for a really long time. I always, she was always was, you know, publicists sometimes could be tricky <laughs> when you're on the other side of the, when you're the media and they're the publicists, that could sometimes be a tricky relationship. But you were always uh, fair and firm and never, you know, sometimes people cross the line there and I always loved the way you handled yourself and your talent. Thank you. and, uh. and so we've been friends over the years. I've just met these amazing women here and you started a company together. Yeah. Yeah. Nine months ago. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. All, ver all doing very well on your own. Knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then so how, how why, why now? Um, we just saw a space that was empty that we thought we could come together and fill. Meredith, Sarah, and I worked together for about 12 years at another company. Meredith and I ran the talent department while Sarah uh, ran strategic communications, so more corporate entertainment. And um, we always collaborated really well. And we had looked for years for a great person in the brand space and failed miserably a number of times. Um, and I knew Christine socially for a number of years. So when we finally decided to do our own thing, we reached out to Christine, who had just opened her own firm um, after being at Converse for many years. And we immediately joined forces. And we found that working together and collaborating together is pretty much the only way to conquer publicity now. And I think it was unique. I mean, it, having a, you know, we were lucky to work side by side for so long because a lot of times you get these really corporate, buttoned up um, people and experiences that come from these places. And talent is such a weird kind of, it's a weird space to be in. There's a, it's a smaller sort of club of people, a lot of female-led business, but we found in working with, so closely with Sarah and then now with Christine and her group is really, there's so much to offer mm. in that merging and specifically for brands and companies that don't know how to speak the language and don't have the vocabulary of how right. to onboard a celebrity or work with them or really get the most out of that sort of earned media and their own media moments. Um, and we found a really nice kind of flow that we felt was unique. I mean, there's a lot of people that do. Did you want do. it to be all women or it just happened to be all women? <laughs> because you were guys out that, that way. Yeah. yeah. I think publicity is, I, I think you find it's a, it's a lot. It's a female heavy. It's, it's a communication yeah. skill. So we exactly. know men aren't communicating. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few of them. Except the you guys. Yeah. Except yeah. the Other men. <laughs> Definitely not my it, husband. It, it is a very female-dominated industry. Yes. Yeah. PR is. So you're new. You're like babies. Nine months is not a long time. Yeah. So what have you, in the nine months, what are like some of the highs and lows? What are some of the lessons already that you've learned? Um, Sarah? I think that we, um, 
One of the things that's most important to us is the culture that we've created for our staff and for us. And um, I think that it seems to us that one of the most important things is that we roll up our sleeves alongside our staff. And that there, while there obviously is some sort of hier hierarchy, that people know that we're working just as hard as they are. And that it's not that I'm staying up till four in the morning to just tell you that I'm staying up till four in the morning, but I'm working mm -hmm. right alongside you. Mm -hmm. And to really create a culture for people where they know that we're um, by their sides all along the way. And um, also on the other side, to try to create a culture where we try to have a lot of fun. Which, yes, which is sometimes hard. And then on the synergy, it's nice to, you know, talent clients that come together, like, um, to bring in Reese Witherspoon as a client. She has an amazing... She's amazing! She has, I, didn't, she's, I didn't have her on my list! Oh! <laughs> she, she didn't put her, like, at the top of the list! She's, she is amazing. She, yeah. she has, has been a phenomenal leader in growing her business and her brand in so many different ways. But it's so nice to have when her company, Hello Sunshine, launched, which is, you know, primarily um, a media a content company to be able to just literally walk into the next office and say, hey, I have somebody who can run this with me and do it in such a strategic and high level way yeah. is really unique. And I love that our clients get to benefit from that, which is what we go in for. Yeah. But yes, the fun too. I mean, <laughs> we have probably like a really long and inappropriate maybe <laughs> email chain where we communicate and yeah. we try to really, we try to find Tell us more about the inappropriate. <laughs> I should have said that. Um, that's the part we want to know. I know. That's the part we can't say. But just okay. <laughs> trying, to, trying to put smiles on their faces because it is such a, it, it can be a burnout business. And we know from being young assistants and young publicists how much, um, how much work goes into it and how much care because not only do they have to worry about us and our, each publicist individually has about, you know, 10 to 25 clients on their own wow. roster. So they're dealing with, Awards campaigns, international press tours, um, you know, uh, everything that's there. Preparing people for yes. panels. Product launches. <laughs> Pro yes, product launches. Preparing all for panels. panels. Right. Working on your level of dance in case you guys are wrong. And all of this, by the way, you each have children, yeah. right? You're all mothers yeah. as well? All we have. Moms. Yeah, at the end of the day. We each, Christina each... Meredith had kids three months ago. My son yeah. is four months. Her, she just had a baby two months ago. We were all... so you have how many clients each? And how many, <laughs> yeah. and how many children each? And how does that. Uh, we each have two. two. We I, each I have two. The children are easier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hence well, the end all the way. emails must be so um, good. Yeah. <laughs> good so, you know, we'll, we'll email each other like, oh, my nanny didn't come to work or some, you know, something happens. So we, we all understand because we're all moms at the end of the day. And we use a lot of sort of like what we know as mom intuition into like our day to day, -to -day yeah, lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it's also, I mean, we have eight kids between the four of us, <laughs> oh two God. months to eight years old. And I think that at the end of the day, we also have... We're building a legacy for them too. Yeah. We're teaching them sort of, we're walking the walk and teaching them about equality and women in the office and working moms and all that kind of stuff that you might hear about or learn about or try to be setting precedents for, but we really are trying to actually show our kids. I know that you want to, of course, be role models for them and, and make an yeah. impact on them, but I know that also I've heard you talk about wanting to impact your, fi your field and women right. and the world in general, just as a company, that's something important to you guys. So maybe you can speak on that a little bit. Um, I think, in general, publicity is something that's often female-run, and also in the food chain of, of um, money. <laughs> it's, it's, we're the lowest paid on the food chain and sometimes the most overworked, and we're definitely a real part of the team and a real part of the storytelling. right? I thought publicists made so much money. <laughs> I no. mean, You're so expensive. Yeah. <laughs> But, but, you know, you have to think about it. We're a retainer basis. Yeah. So your agents and your managers, you're paying them sometimes before you even see it. So it doesn't feel like as much. Right, but when right, you have right. to write that check, yeah. it's like, oh, what are they doing this month? But, <laughs> right. but um, I think, and I think part of the reason is it's, 
it's often female driven. And I think people say like, oh, those girls will take care of us, you know? Right. And, and, it, and I don't think that's necessarily how it should be. We're such a big part of the conversation, such a big part of the strategy from brand and talent and, and everywhere in between that, that we really need to change that. And not just for us, not just so I could go home and be like, hey, guess what I made? Yeah. <laughs> but because we're, we're all in it together for uh, the other female publicists who own their own firms as well, you know, right. I, think it's, I think it's really important. Um, tell us about the background on how PR is different than, because it's changed a lot, I mean, everything's changed, but Everything PR has changed is. a lot in the past couple of years, so talk about that a little bit. Um, well, to flip your question around a little bit, to okay. talk about, sorry, <laughs> to talk about how sort of everyone, yeah, just, <laughs> fine, um, if you want to ask the question. No, I mean, PR is changing, obviously there's social media, but I think that one of the things that we're sort of so interested by is in this world where we're living in right now where people are talking about machine learning and robots and AI and data and we have so many people come in and are out of our office about how this is going to solve our lives and this list is going to do this for us. In the end of the day, all those things are super helpful, mm -hmm. but PR is all about storytelling, content, and relationships. Yeah. And I think that that is something that actually isn't really changing. And so the media might be changing, the platform might be changing, but in the end of the day, like if we don't have those relationships, if we don't have a good story to tell, there's no list and no robot that's going to fix that for us. Right. Yeah, I get that. But I, yeah, go ahead. You're right. Sarah. <laughs> No, I was just. You have to do that more because it makes them more comfortable. <laughs> <walking in public. laughs> Put a little encouragement for the ladies. <laughs> you do a little dance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cut you off, baby. What were you oh saying? no, that's so true. And uh, yeah, we we. I mean, obviously, people talk about. You know, you sit in these marketing meetings now, and it used to be just about what demographic are we hitting, and now it's so much about the psychographic research and data and hitting people on their phones and. It's a habit forming, and you have to care about all that, but most of our clients, right, they own their own media with their social media, so mm -hmm. that's the owned, we're the earned. You know, we're creating publicity moments, and it used to be about you just need to book your client on The Tonight Show, and you're good, um, and do an Oprah and a Vogue cover, and you're done, and that's simply not the way it works anymore. Right. You need to book your client on the show, but you need to create a moment that is gonna go viral, and how do you do that, and um, how do we measure that against getting butts and seats for movies and um, everything that we actually need to sell for them and creating a brand, and then on the, uh, by the other token, and it is so important for brands and for corporate, but we still have those talent clients who are true artists and true actors. They win Oscars and without having a social media account. And that's, you know, that's their journey, but it's our job to sort of figure out without their own media channel, how, how, do, how do we make it relevant? How do we keep them in the conversation? Um, and so that, it, which is an old school, new school thing. And I think just pace, obviously, the pace is so different. When, when we started the National Enquirer, which would fax us and yeah. be like, oh, we, we are preparing faxing. faxing. We are preparing a story about your client in three faxing. days, and it's like uh, uh, uh. now it's <laughs> right. like we barely get a phone call. Hey, we're preparing. Oh no, it's up it's now. Out. React, yeah. you yeah. know what's your comment? Whether it's true or not, you know, truth is a very invisible line these days. It must be exhausting because it's not like it doesn't stop. There's Never. no time to. Do we look tired? <laughs> <laughs> you actually look lovely. You don't look tired at all. It never stop. I remember like when social media, for, you know. I'm in radio, so I also have to like follow everything and be on top of everything. And I remember when, when Twitter was like, I remember feeling such an anxiety of like, I have to know everything every second right now or I'm out of the loop every five minutes. And it, it took me a long time to find like a pace in that. Like, and turn off. okay, I can know in 20 minutes and yeah. life is not gonna end. Yeah. But I, for, I think for you guys who represent people, you even have the luxury of I can wait 20 minutes. Like it's probably oh, no, no. it's no. probably a constant There's no 20 minutes. I'm like stressed out being up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's going on back here? Oh, I mean, I remember when I started out at 21 in this business, we were like arguing about who had seniority to get a BlackBerry, mm -hmm. and everyone was dying to get a BlackBerry. <laughs> I miss my and BlackBerry. Now, so all yeah. we want to do, I don't we know, about, we just want to. I'm sure you probably all agree. We want to like throw our phones in the ocean and have them go <laughs> as far away as they can. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I think next year we should all come and put our phones on the table. I know. Right? <laughs> for the whole, for the whole time. And never will. <laughs> she, couldn't, she couldn't take it. You talked a, a little bit earlier about the culture of your company, right? And so how do, you, how do you create that? And how do you keep it positive and make sure it's a positive culture? And 
How do you do that? Amanda's a comedian. She just tells jokes, <laughs> just tell jokes makes everybody happy. But leading by example, I mean, she already had at home. And also telling, you know, it's, it's a weird job. And I think in the way that people think it's so glamorous too, like I always say, I don't live in the castle, I just work in it. But you can get in these situations where, you know, you're taking the private jet to the, checking in at the Hotel Duke Cap and can, but then I remember a specific situation. I'm throwing down my Discover card with a $200 limit and like, can't cover my incidentals, and you have to like find a way to live and work in that world and not feel awkward about it and also not let your clients see that you can't. Never let, never <laughs> let the clients yeah, see. Shout out to Discover, though. I'm working for it. didn't mean... It was my first call. I think telling the young... They're going to you. <laughs> yeah. Telling the younger kids yeah. those kind of stories like we've all been there and we've all done that, yeah. I think makes a difference. You guys I said- I think we were all assistants and coordinators in our past lives. And I think a lot of the kids now coming up feel so, not like entitled, but they think like they can just walk in. The shortcut, they want the shortcut. They want the shortcut. Yeah. And there is no shortcut to what we do. You know- We're still trying to yeah. find the shortcut. Like, <laughs> right. You Maybe know, I remember when yeah. I was coming up, you know, like my boss didn't want almonds in his peanuts and I had to pick out all the freaking almonds. And you, but you just did it, you know, yeah. like Amanda's had Diet Coke cans thrown at her when she was an assistant. Yeah. That's all that never story. okay. <laughs> yes, we're not advocating. Yeah. But we sort of, we wanted to create a culture where our employees don't feel fear. Mm -hmm. Like we work alongside with them because we want it to be a place where they come to work, they enjoy their work. And a lot of PR agencies have sort of this bad cachet of like, their girls are catty, or they're talking about you behind your back, or it's really cutthroat, and that's not the sort of environment we wanted to create. We wanted to create an environment where there is equality and diversity, and our, if our kids come to work, they'll be like, well, this is a place where I can work at one day, Mom. You know, they'll be proud of us. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty great. Well, I'm proud of you all. You did amazing. Thank and you. the time is up. Right. You yeah. did it. We didn't even have to dance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you guys Thank for your you guys. time. Thank you.